see how we can frame out a very simple way of introducing yourself to anybody in Japanese. Okay, let's do that activity now. You're meeting someone, the first word which you will be using could be Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. It's like hello. So the first, when you meet someone, you would tell Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. There is another greeting which you tell to another person when you meet them for the first time. And that is Hajime Mashte. Hajime Mashte. Please repeat the words along with me because language is something which is spoken and the more you open your word and speak out, you will be able to register those words in your mind. So, Hajime Mashte. Hajime Mashte. I'm preferring to write all of this on the board in Hiragana and not in Romaji because the more you read Hiragana, you will get comfortable with this script. English, any way you know it. So there's no requirement of practice of reading English, which means Romaji, I don't want to write. I prefer writing it in Hiragana. Konnichiwa, hajime mashite. And then you're going to tell, I am so and so, that is, you're going to tell your name. Vatashiva, your name followed by this. I am telling the person that I am from India. Varsha this. Patashiva Varsha this. Next, I am an Indian. So I would tell Vatashiva Indo Jindis. Indo Jindis. Patashiva Indo Jindis. I am an Indian. Last, when you end the introduction, you would tell, there is a greeting like that, which is Dozo Yeroshika Onigai Shimas. Dozo Dozo Yoro Shikha Onegai Shimas Dozo Yoro Shikha Onegai Shimas This is a phrase If I have to give you the literal meaning of it Dozo means please Take care of me Or you could tell I would be happy working with you. So this is a phrase which is commonly used at the end. Dozo Yoroshika Onigaishimas. Onigaishimas makes it more uh, formal, polite form. You just tell Yoroshika. It means it is informal or casual. But for now we are not going to touch informal or casual form anywhere. All that you are learning is only the polite form. Okay, so I'm not going to again bring parallels between this form till a few lessons are over. So, self-introduction. Can we just practice? Konnichiwa. Hajime mashte. Vatashiva. Parshades. Vatashiva. Indo jintes. Dozo yoroshik onigaishimas. Hmm? Now, one more point I want to tell you here. Generally in Japanese, if you keep on telling Vatashiva Varsha this, Vatashiva Indo Jin this, Vatashiva Indo Karaki Mashta, Vatashiva this, Vatashiva this, it sounds like you're so obsessed with yourself. I, 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 I. In English, it is not okay to drop the subject. The noun has to be there. But in Japanese, it's okay to drop this subject. It's okay. So you need not tell Vatashiva Varsha this, Vatashiva Indo Jin this, Vatashiva Indo Karaki Mashta, Vatashiva Vatashiva. They would think that you don't, you are not a person 
you know, who understands Japanese in its true sense. So, rehearsing the Jiko Shokai, this introduction, Jiko Shokai, again without this Vatashiva. Okay, let's do it again. Konnichiwa, Hajime Mashte, Varshades. You need not tell Vatashiva Varshad, just drop Vatashiva. It's okay to drop the subject, not the verb or the object which follows it. Okay? Varsha this. Indojin this. Dozo Yoroshiko Onigaishimasu. That's it. 